it's not that I have to sell this place. It's just there are too many memories. We should have no trouble selling your home. You have a million dollar view. Oceanfront property is at a premium. You know, they really don't build places like this anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. This place costs a fortune to eat in the winter. Why are you selling? Tina, that's none of our business. That's a perfectly good question, my dear. This house belonged to my wife. It had been in her family for almost a century. If you really want to know, it reminds me too much of Angelina. Is that her picture? She really was very beautiful. Isn't she a bit too young for you? Tina! We were only four years apart in age. That portrait was done in 1968. Where is she now? Really, that's none of our business. We'd been married only a few weeks. We came here after the honeymoon. Once we were here, she seemed very despondent. I'd find her sitting alone by the water's edge, just sobbing. She kept telling me that she wanted to be left alone. She'd be out there hour after hour, just sitting. It was a stormy October evening. I saw her standing on the rocks, right out there in front of the hut. Her arms were spread wide apart. I called to her. Maybe she couldn't hear me over the sound of the surf. I rushed down toward her. I, I reached out to pull her back. It was only two feet from her. She just leaned over. That, my dear, is why I want to sell. I'm very sorry for your loss, Professor. Tina, don't you think you should start appraising? The Professor wants it listed as soon as possible. Knowing the history of the property is just as important as the physical structure. This house will be the death of me. I've got to get out of here. And why is that? Why is what, my dear? Why do you have to get out of here? I think we've Taking up enough of the good professor's time. Jenna, let me show you the upstairs. You, you don't, don't believe, believe him, him, do you? He, he pushed, pushed me off that cliff. Where are you now? I, I must get, get back. back. He's, He's going, going to do it again. again. What's going to happen? He, he only married me for my money. money. I, was I was so young. young. What can I do to help? Not, Not now. now. Later. Why are you talking to the portrait? Do you need anything else from me? No, no thank you. We'll call you as soon as we process the papers. Again, are we? I'm telling you, there's more to that man than you'd believe. I think it's all in your head. He's just a nice old man who wants to move on with his life. And we can make a ton of commission on that place. I'm just glad you didn't blow the whole deal yesterday with your bizarreness. 
I heard him say that he needed to get out without him speaking or moving his lips. Tina, that's not normal. Normal or not, I heard it. I also heard that portrait talk to me. But portraits don't talk. You don't think I know that? This hasn't been this bad before. Why don't you lay low for a while? I need the sail. You know, a place like that by the ocean. Once everything has been signed, you can come back into the picture. Okay. Just let me know when he's signed on the dotted line. You must stop him before he kills again. Why are you bothering me? What can I do? He has done it before, and he will kill someone else. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. He is going to kill the other woman who was with you. Janet. He's going to hurt Janet. Her time is near. Even now, he plans her fate. What can I do to stop him? You must go there tonight, through the basement window. That is where he will kill her, just like he killed me. I can't just break in. How do I even know she's going to be there? Answer the telephone. But it hasn't... Hello, Janet? Where are you? I'm on my way to the professor's house! He wants to sign the paper! Don't do it. Why not? Don't you want me to get the sale? No, it, it's not like that. The professor... He's not... What he seems. Tina, enough! Okay? Oh, I, I gotta go, I'm here! Janet! You do not have much time. In the basement, you will find my remains. What good is that going to do me? I can help you save your friend. In the basement, you will find a sword in the ground. Remove it so I can help you. That sword keeps me in prison. You must tell me. The professor's gonna need all the help he can get. There's gotta be steps around here somewhere. I know how King Arthur felt. You really shouldn't have come here, my dear. That was a big mistake. Do you have any idea what you've done? You've unleashed her again! Unleashed who? What have you done with Janet? She has gone from this place. <clears throat> that was really very foolish of you, my dear. You have no clue what you're up against. I'm up against a dirty old man who murders young women. I've tried to reason with you. If you move one more muscle, it would be your last. Do you understand me? You have released me from my prison. I am 
I'm free now. Where's Janet? I'm not concerned about your friend. I must find him. He's gone. Now what did he do with Janet? The next time you find a sword in the ground, leave it there. What have you done with Janet? Nothing at all. She left over an hour ago. Just one more thing I have to do. She said you killed her and that there were others. It was the other way around. Shortly after our marriage, I realized what she actually was. I had to imprison her. You cannot kill what has never been alive. So she tricked me. Just as she did countless others in centuries before. With the papers signed, I really need to get out of this place. Come, my dear, I'll make you a cup of tea. <laughs> I won't miss it a bit. Don't worry about that, my dear. It seems we have a small rodent problem down here. I'll have someone take care of it tomorrow. 